Why Indian parents are so conservative? Arrange marriage in India. Okay. Wow. Which Taiwanese food I like most? Maybe will settle in Taiwan or I will go back to India. So some of you maybe don't know, my name is DJ and I'm a PhD as a scholar at Academia Cynic. Hello my YouTube family, welcome to today's vlog. In today's vlog, I'm going to give some answers. Few days back, I posted the questions on my Instagram that you can ask me anything. So some people ask me some questions. So let's start with the first question. So the very first question is this one. Why Indian parents are so conservative or they are why they are very strict to the children? So while living in Taiwan for six years, I faced this question so many times and especially it always came from girls and the reason is very obvious because might be those girls dating some Indian guy and for the long time and but things doesn't work because might be the guy parents don't allow them to marry with a foreigner or or maybe the guy doesn't really wants to marry and and then he say that okay my parents won't allow i mean many of them maybe because of language barrier because of foreigner and indian parents so that's why this these conflicts came out and that's why the girls more concerned about that why indian parents are so conservative and they are not really open-minded so first of all i'm not sure in, in what context you were talking about this question i think indian parents are not conservative most of them because as we know that india is so diverse and so big country in this situation the most important thing is not about parents that they are conservative it's all about the children if a guy or girl well settled in their life and if they are doing really good i don't think parents are conservative and they, they won't allow them to do some certain things. The Indian culture is very family oriented, so which is really a, one of the uniqueness Indian culture. Many of their parents saw a lot of struggle in their life and they did lots of hard work to grow their children and make their life more easier and more successful. Even many of the Indian parents even never go to school and they're doing farming, but they did best for their children. Parents did a lot of things for the children, so the parents also expect so many things. Now the thing is because those parents are a little bit in the another generation and the now young people are in the new generation. So the conflict between the parents and children is very obvious and their mindset is also very different nowadays. Anderson is more educated than their parents. If you are successful and if you are doing good in your life, let your parents know about you want to settle out or you want to do some certain things, not specifically about the marriage. Anything, oh. whatever you do in your life, you can let them and you can convince them that what I am doing is, is correct. And I don't think most of the parents, they will not let you do that and they will stop you to do that, that certain things very good for your future. But it's, it totally depends and if I I give you my example i am i am from a small state of in haryana and my mom never went to school yes she never went to school but she's very open-minded it's not about the education to be open-minded you don't really have to express education in india there are lots of people they never go to school but their mindset is they are very smart and open-minded i'm giving example of my mom so my mom never told me you don't have to do this thing you don't have to do this thing they always think whatever you do so it's up to you if you do something bad thing it will up to you it will ruin your future and if you do the good things it will be good for you or for us too so they never stop me to doing anything but it's children responsibility to take care about your future and also take care of your parents so it depends on the guy you have to think both the ways if that you how you can take care of your parents who let you grow and the another thing is how you can take care of yourself to grow in your in the advanced society if that's the question that uh, some people going in a relationship with Taiwanese girl or any foreigner girl they must have to think before going to that serious relationship that I am going into this relationship is it doable in the later so if you think that your parents won't allow then you must not go on that way you are going to waste your own time and also you are going to waste that girl time tell their your situation to the girl honestly and just just be what you are so i hope i convinced your answer so the next question is which taiwanese food i like most many times taiwanese people ask me about you know, instagram or even in, in the real life well if you compare to the indian food and taiwanese food they are totally different and but um, because I'm living from six year I do like Taiwanese food most of the time I try to eat in the afternoon but I can't eat it every day it's more healthy and I usually eat a buffet because I'm vegetarian so in the buffet there are lots of things that you can pick so I usually pick like tofu broccoli fried egg the most important thing I really like about the, the fried tofu 
the fried tofu I just love it. The reason I love the fried tofu is because this is something similar with the Indian dish. It's called like paneer, which made by pure milk. And also because only the buffet I can eat the Taiwanese food because I'm vegetarian. I don't really know which Taiwanese food is really a Taiwanese food for vegetarian except this buffet and fried food. So maybe you guys can suggest me some Taiwanese food which is vegetarian but not like fried or something. So maybe I will try it next time. So next question is this many people asking me about that i will settle in taiwan or i will go back to india so mm, this question is a little bit because is i'm not really sure about it so far because uh, i'm on way to finish my phd i think hopefully end of this year and after finishing my phd i will decide whether i should leave but my plan is at least one year one more year work in taiwan if things go in a good way so i will stay in taiwan or maybe i will go back to the india i love both places, india and taiwan and so depending on the situation i'm fine with both places if i got a good position in taiwan i still can bring my parents here and if i find a good job in, in india so i will i can move in india but still even if i move to the india or other countries definitely i will visit taiwan again and again and again and next question is this actually it's a funny question and i think someone else has a fun how to make taiwanese girlfriend wow okay i think this answer you should ask to some taiwanese girls not me so i think the the most important thing is just to be yourself and just try to be honest i think that's the most important thing and of course it's just try to be nice with the girls and just ask them to go out and talk to them and make some friends first and uh, from where it all started so maybe some Taiwanese girl who was watching this you can write in the comment that what you should expect from a guy next question is arrange marriage in India okay wow this question is also I hit many times from Taiwanese people about the arranged marriage and also is in the internet everywhere you will see about many people wrote about arranged marriage in India some people say good things something they say about the bad things if you ask me so I think it totally depends on guys and their families so but nowadays many people are very open-minded and they are doing love marriages a lot and um, but still a lot of people are also doing arranged marriages and for me I think if guys are okay and their parents are okay it's good so think uh, if a guy cannot find a girl and um, doesn't matter what the situation is so what he has a choice so it's a, it's a good thing that parents can arrange some girl and things will work out then why not to get married and it's always good to get married before you si die single right so <laughs> Mm, it's good and I heard in, in long time before in Taiwan also there there were certain things some companies or something that you can approach them and they will they will tell you oh, like some matchmaking so I'm not sure about this these things still exist in in Taiwan but in India these things still there and I think there's nothing wrong if both parties are okay if you see in India lots of people see the arranged marriage in the past but if you see the divorce ratio is is very low in India if you compare to the other countries that's the answer that arranged marriage is not that bad to do so and I think I will make a, another video on this topic that uh, how and if you guys are interested to know more details about how it happened the arranged marriage in India and how the guy and girl approached so you can write down in the comment and I will make a vlog on this topic also the last question do you know any delicious Indian restaurant in Taipei there are lots of Indian restaurant in Taipei and there's still a new opening every year so you can check out but the the one I really suggest about the the restaurant called this mm, Balle Balle the restaurant is really I feel authentic and I think it's good and the price is a little bit could be high but uh, I think sometimes if you are going a few times I think it's fine and the food is really delicious I went there a couple of times and you should guys can try and so that's all for today and I hope you really like it and follow me on Instagram and you can write down in the comments that which part you agree or you not agree about whatever I said you like this video so what you have to do please like it share it and subscribe to my channel for more updates bye bye chai chan namaste